We're going on in victory. I don't know what your obstacle is. I don't know what your obstacle is. But I know that he has promised that you can say to your obstacle, be thou removed and cast into the sea because we need a highway here. 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 We don't need to be stopped by this. We can go on by God's grace. Is faith a great truth in that scripture? Yes. But God knows what you need and he'll give you more. And that's why you need the Holy Spirit to be a divine teacher. And as you look and see, as you go through the scriptures again and again, Isaiah, his scripture, it was the same truth that God was going to remove the obstacle. John the Baptist is saying, God is going to remove the obstacle. You better get the obstacle out of the way because you've never seen such mountains as are formed today. But he's able to make you victorious. He's able to bring you through. He's able to give you victory. Trust God to deliver you from the obstacles in your life. What are the obstacles? Anything that hinders you. Is it physical? Ask God for a breakthrough. Is it relationship? Ask God for a breakthrough. Is it a weakness of the flesh? Ask God for a breakthrough. Is it bills so heavy you can't handle them? Ask God for a breakthrough. Say to this mountain, the mountain that's in your way, don't go looking for a mountain to try your faith. Look for a mountain that's stopping you. Don't look for a mountain so you can prove how great you are. Look for a mountain that's hindering you and say to that mountain, That's not to make you a big hero in the church. It's to make you a great testimony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Get something deeper than what is the first word that comes into somebody's mind when they read a scripture. Because the Holy Ghost is a divine teacher and he can take what you've read a dozen times and it can mean something deeper than you ever thought possible. Go back to his word. Thank God for his word. I'm not saying it for you because most of you, I'd say stay away from it. But if you'd ask me what I read, I read a whole lot. Some of the stuff that I read, I wouldn't want you to read it. It could even maybe shake your faith. But how do I read it? I read it like I do the newspaper. I read this as truth. I want to know what the world is falling over. I want to know what little crumbs are here and there. I want to know what is happening in the hour that I live. But when I read, I know what I am joined to. I'm married to this book, and that book is God's Word, and I'm trusting God's Word. And if it doesn't criticize what God has said, then I'll look at it a little bit. But I look at it like I do reading a newspaper. But when I look at this book, I say, thank you, God. It's my power that is now made stronger because you're quickening me through your Word. Hallelujah. Give God a praise offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to take you to one other scripture that's found in Luke chapter 19. And it's about the parables. Ten servants that are given a talent and sent forth. And the scripture tells us one of them came back and 